You know, I uh, was just listening to a podcast. As as I'm out, and this is a good point. I love Jesus, but I hate church. And that makes a lot of sense. You can still be about the blood of Jesus and the love of Jesus and love of the teaching of Jesus Christ and not like church. That has been me for a long time. That's been me for most of my life. You know? And because regardless of whether you're in the church or not the church, all faith without work, or all work without faith. Or was the other way around? All faith without work is dead. That's true. This is DJ Wolf Live. It's your boy DJ Wolf here. Um, I was thinking about this big old 600 plus uh, pound fat girl on the last episode of My 600 Pound Life who was tripping um, about uh, her healing for her weight loss or trying to get her reducing weight by getting the uh, the gastric bypass. So Dr. Niles, who's the renowned surgeon now in Houston, tried to help her with that, of course. And for months on end, he tried to get her to go ahead and uh, prepare herself to lose the weight so he can go ahead and get her in the surgery. She missed several appointments. She refused to lose the weight. And as a matter of fact, she had picked up weight in the process and just kept eating to her heart's content. But I always complained when she got sick. You know, to a point where Dr. Niles gave her one final chance. And this goofy broad just came out and said, God got my back. God got my back. Do you believe in God? God got my back. Yet, this big old Oompa Loompa chick made no effort, zero effort to try to lose the weight at all. She thought she was going to just eat and eat and eat and then God was going to miraculously make her lose the weight. No. It's not how it work. It's not how it will ever work. You have to put the work in. You know? Truth be told, faith without work is definitely dead. You cannot sit there and think it Oh, um, I need to lose the weight. And the weight's going to miraculously fall off your ass. No, you got to put the faith in, and then you got to put the work in to make it work for you. That's how that works. You know, there's no miracle drug formula for it or anything like that. You know, I go to the gym three, four times out the week. You know, to try to anyway. If I go once a week and I eat burgers and pizzas and fries and shakes every day, guess what's not going to happen? Not going to be able to lose weight. Even if I prayed on it. You know? But I did pray one night last uh, spring when I, I felt I was about to, about to have a heart attack or something. And I, I prayed and prayed and said, Lord, if you help me uh, get through the night, I promise I'm going to make a change. And my change started on May 29th, 2017. Really, it, it was slowly starting before that but, to, uh, that, but that night in May is when I finally decided to say, you know what, I, I, I really want to do, I'm really going to do something about it. Oh, what you no, I don't want that deal. We're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. But yeah, May 29, 2017 is when I finally decided to start doing something about it. I got tired of keeping the weight on me like I was. I was, I think I was around 278 pounds at the time. And I could no longer deal with that. And I made every effort to try to get the weight off. 
I went through that and went to neutral systems. I lost 18 pounds just off neutral systems. And this is before I started working out. And I'm thinking, I just think what would happen had I started working out. And I lost 18 pounds within like two, three months. Well, re really about two months. It was back about two months. And I eventually started going to the gym. And then I old lady told me about this other place where you didn't have to actually uh, you could still eat some of the, some of the same foods I, I'm not I'm talking about like vegetables whole uh, a week grains and vegetables instead of eating the, uh, the uh, diet through neutral systems and then work I lost even more weight you know but I was determined to do it through faith and work okay you can't do it by just by faith alone and then you turn around and you eat all this junk and thinking, oh yeah, the guy gonna grab my back. That was an excuse for your fat ass not to do it. Excuse my friends, that was just an excuse for your fat ass not to try to, uh, to attempt to lose the weight. You can't use guys as an excuse. Too many of us just use an excuse and don't put any work in behind it. You know? Especially when it comes to your to your own healing, you know. There's a saying that Iyala goes on her show when people start trying to fuss at her for her trying to help them, and she says, "Quote: I'm not going to fight you for your healing." You know, and you know what? She's right. Your body is your temple. Why should anybody have to fight you for your own healing? Either you want to do it or you're not. That's the bottom line. And that's why you have to put the uh, work with the faith. Because otherwise, it's going to fall. You know? If I sit there and ate junk and ate junk at the rate I was doing last year, early on. You know? And then I was having those chest pains. I would continue to head to a point where I, I would have probably had went to cardiac arrest. And died. But I prayed that night. I prayed hard that night, man. And I was like, man, uh-uh. I can't do this no more, man. And do you know what? Truth be told, after I stopped doing that, after I stopped eating all that junk, after I started eating right and started losing weight, <clears throat> for the most part, the chest pains went away. And I was getting acid reflux. All that stuff went away. All that stuff stopped. You know. Do I believe in all that uh, cutting up the gastric bypass, all that stuff? No. I know of people that have had it, and I know of people that it really worked out for. And some of the people who did do it that I know of, you could tell the payoff was there because they put the work in. You can, and even that's not a miracle, uh, a, a, a totally 100% miracle, if you don't put the work into it. If you don't put the work in the behind that, it's definitely going to work for you. That's for damn sure. If you go out there and, and get the uh, gastro bypass or lab or whatever, and you start trying to eat to your heart's content, you will lose out. You don't learn the, uh, the, uh, uh, the portion size your food and eat the right kind of foods, it's never going to work for you. No matter what, you have to put the work in even with that. You know, I couldn't see myself getting a gastric bypass and then the gastric bypass is it, failing. On, uh, the result of it fails on you because you didn't put the, put in the work. That's happened to several people. That's how people you on the 600 pound life program that I've seen where people actually had already had the gastric bypass before they went to go see Dr. Niles and it failed on them again. I uh, mean, it failed on them before they saw them because they didn't do the work. You know, and I would not. That's the last thing I want anybody to do to cut up on me for that purpose. I, you know, I, I I learned to control my own eating habits, to control my own, own portions. Sometimes when I get home from the gym, I don't even feel like eating at all. You know, I can eat up to two meals a day and be happy. I learned that. What I have been eating the last couple of weeks. I know last night I didn't, I didn't even eat dinner at all. I just ate uh, the combination of the yogurt, almonds, and uh, some, uh, some uh, 
uh, mixed nuts. That was it. That's all I had. I wasn't even hungry. Because I had a salad for lunch. And then I think I was going for breakfast. Oh, I had eggs for breakfast. I think tomorrow I'm going to have oatmeal. But that's, this is what I'm talking about. You know, you got to eat right. You got to eat right. A lot of us don't, 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 don't eat right or don't want to eat right. Today I'm going to have grapefruit with my cottage cheese, pineapple, and uh, my uh, turkey ham for breakfast. That's it. Nothing extra beyond that. You know, that, that might be my only meal for the day. I don't know. We'll see. We will definitely see. All right, guys. This is DJ Wolf. That's all I got to say right now. I'll have more uh, about this and other things in the back burner. So I get across here. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out.